Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Peglin, the Peggle-based roguelike. In the last episode we did okay, but we didn't quite get as far as I had hoped and that is because we unfortunately didn't have any sustain, any healing or anything to really keep us going. But we can have a little look. Orb and Relic battle. Ooh, that's really good. We'll take that. And uh, we get to choose additional Orb or Relic. And this time we have the Mole Boss, which is different from the first episode here. We've also got a lot of Elites to go at if we go right, so we'll end up doing that. And we'll just see how we can get along here. Uh, been loving this game recently. I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode. I'm going to try and go for a straight down bomb play, but unfortunately, didn't quite get it. We might at least get the crit though. Very nice. Didn't ignite the second bomb either, but we probably don't want to get that bomb until more enemies are on screen here, so we'll, we'll leave that for now. I did not mean to do that. That was not good, but it's okay. It's okay. More enemies on screen, the better. Uh, we'll, try, we'll try and go for this crit here. Completely missed it. Okay, now we can use our bomb. Deal big damage to everything. Let's try and go for the second bomb as well if we can on the next turn. But there is a refresh in the way, so I don't know how likely that is. Beautiful. And that's another one dead as well. I can try and hit it straight up, straight down, but that's really hard to do, I'll admit. Eh, damn it. At least got it out of the way. Don't get another refresh, please. Well, we, we almost got there. Unfortunately, it's not even been ignited yet, so it's going to take us two turns to blow this up unless I can get a straight up, straight down. I did it! Straight up, straight down! It's so hard to do, but if you do it, it's actually pretty valuable. So there you go. We finish off our first area and see what we end up getting. So we get an extra choice here. So, the Doctor Orb does no damage, heals you for each pick hit, permanently removed from your deck after it's used, but I'm going to grab it anyways because... If you upgrade it, that's no longer the case. So we can actually get some permanent healing off of it if we upgrade it. So definitely going to take that. We just got to make sure that we don't accidentally use it. We've got to make sure we that we discard it whenever it comes across. Remove an orb from our deck. Yes, please. 100% remove a stone. That's very helpful. We're going to try and go this way, but honestly, we're at the whim of the game here. Okay, we're good. We're good. Another question mark. That's our first mirror event, actually. We didn't actually see many question marks in the last episode, really, but you get different events like this, and here's another one. You get an upgrade. There you go. Okay. Can only be used once per battle. Instead, we managed to get there. So, does, does it matter which elite we go for here? It does. We want to go for the left elite. If we go for the left elite, we can get a second elite. And go down to that one. More elites, the better. The more relics we're going to get. And remember, we've got an additional relic choice, so we want to be getting that whenever we can. We'll try and go for the bombs here. There we go. We've got one bomb. There's only two bombs available, but if we can get them, that's better. You found a Doctor Orb. It's a great way to keep your health and spirits high, but it can only be used once and less upgraded. You can discard to save it for when you need it. So, we will discard that for now because we, do, we don't have enough health for it really to be that valuable. We should hit the next bomb orb here unless we get unlucky. Yeah, there you go beautiful. We've actually got a very, very thin deck now as well, which is nice. I'll try and get a crit here, but it's, yeah, I was about to say, it's unlikely. Oh, I didn't even get the refresh either. Come to the refresh at least. Honestly, this is going to be a bit of a flop, but, oh, we got the refresh. Okay, I'm happy with that. I am happy with that. We at least kill that guy. Try and get the crit over here. Damn it, it skipped everything but the crit. Are you kidding? How frustrating. But now we get our Doctor Orb, which should be very good for us. Oh, really? It bounced the wrong way. That's still good healing, but it, if it would have gone down that way, that would have been a full heal. S slightly frustrating. We do need some more damaging orbs, though. We're a little lacking on damage. Okay, need these refreshes as well. It's, al it's always annoying when the refreshes are, like, really, really close to the bottom, at the very far left or right, because you just have to kind of, yeah, gamble and hope you can get them. But then also, you end up dealing 16 damage for a hit, which was enough this time, but sometimes it's not. Oh, ho, ho, I missed the crit. Can be quite low damage, unfortunately. 
We've taken quite the beating here. And unfortunately, then I get my dag orb again. And no way to get a crit again. So another really low damage hit. We've taken way too much damage on this fight already. Uh, I need to stop. And it keeps giving us crits on our rocks. It's just like, can you troll me more game, please? Can you troll me more? It missed the crit. How? The game is so brutal. I would have killed him in this hit if it had hit the crit there. Hey, there you go. We got him. We got him. Slightly difficult, but we got there in the end. We'll see what item we're going to get. Remember, we get an additional choice here. So we're going to go for an upgrade. Um, persist 2, definitely. All arms have persist 1. Yep, we're going to grab that. And then we want to be going left, right? Left, right? Haha. -ha. But So persist means that we get to use the orb twice. And we got persist 1 on our docked orb. And then all orbs gain persist 1. So it has persist 3. Check behind the waterfall. What did we get last time? Oh, you just get a relic. Nice. Um, it's pretty good. We don't need that, but it's pretty good. This is slightly tricky. I'm going to try and get it in the... How the hell do I fire? Why, why, why won't it let me fire? There you go. Try and get it in that little corner there. There you go. And then we get another elite after this. Obviously, we have to see if our health holds up. But I think Doctor should be good. So, Doctor already. We get Persist 3 on this, which means we get 3 goes of the Doctor Orb. Which isn't great, because it deals no damage. But it does mean we get a significant amount of healing. Apparently crits affect it too, which is really nice. There you go, we're up to full now. Persist 2 on our Dag Orb isn't great, because we... Don't have any way to gain a crit here. I'm going to try and get this crit down here. Really? Oh, that is frustrating. Until we get some better orbs, we're going to have not a great time here, I think. Oh, you... <laughs> oh, this is bad. This is bad. We don't have any more docked orbs either, so... Why is it always that when it's my rock's turn, the crits are, like, super, super free? It's, like, right in front of me. Also, our, uh... Our refreshes are particularly hard to get this time around. Yeah, particularly difficult to get. The bomb should help there. Come on, come on, come on. Get the crit. You bounced over it! Look at that bounce, bounce all through there. Oh, this game. Get my feckles up this game. Give me that refresh. There are such awkward spots to hit. There you go. But the other just spawned back in the same spot, you dick. Please keep the crit similarly to this position, please. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a ridiculously terrible fight. Everything's going wrong. The crits are just never easy to get either. Dude, Dagger, where you going? <laughs> what is this? Oh my lord. 23 damage. The Dagger was just such low damage without a crit. Oh, finally, look, a crit. But we hardly hit any orbs. We didn't even get a kill with it. Oh, that's savage. Savage. How are you going to miss a crit again, my dude? How are you going to miss a crit again? There you go. He's only got 5 HP though, so the crit doesn't even matter. Oh, this is big sad. The game's just trolling me. We got down to very low health here, but do you remember we have a Doc Dog coming up in the next fight, which should heal us to full or at least close to. And we got the kill. No, we didn't. But remember, we have Persist 2, which means that, that we get an extra attack. I, be I believe that was the way it works, at least. Okay, so we upgrade. We're definitely going to have an upgrade on that. Peg start with twice as many bombs. 
Um, immediately deal one damage to the targeted enemy for every two pegs hit. I'm going to go with the extra bombs. Extra bombs sounds way too good to not take. This might... Hmm. Oh, wait. I, I can get a direct. Good. Please don't go in the fire. Thank God. <laughs> right, so we need a Doctor pretty early on here for whatever elite this ends up being. So otherwise, this could be rough. Another elite down this way, too. Okay, Doctor. We got the same fight again. Are you kidding me? Go away. There's 42, though, on a heal. Really, you're not going to hit that bomb? Okay. There you go. There's one bomb hit. Okay, starting with quite so many bombs is helping here, but it's still not great. Damn it, didn't get that refresh. At least get one of the bombs. God damn it. Th this bomb's basically unobtainable. I don't know how the hell we're going to manage to get that one, but... The rest of them? Maybe. I said the rest of them. There's only one more. Even this other one is pretty hard to hit. We need to clear out a good amount of the board first. Oh my god, my dag orbs are so bad. I can't hit anything with them. The, the, the crits just never spawn where I need them to. And when they do, they fucking miss! You can't seriously miss both of these crits. You can't seriously miss both of these crits. Come on, come on, no! What is this? What is this? How do you miss that crit that many times? Well, at least we got the bomb. That is still so frustrating though, wow. My goodness. My goodness. This game is, is doing things to my heart. My heart rate has like shot up. <laughs> I'm really enjoying it though. It's just funny. Right, so Dagob, are you gonna give me a nice crit? Ooh, look, a nice crit, a direct crit. It's crazy, it's unbelievable, it's unprecedented. And we get the kill. We can go with projectile attacks have overflow. Okay, that's incredible, overflow is super good. Don't really care which one we go for here, so let's just do that. Hopefully we don't fall in the fire. We got it. Oh, I went the wrong way. I'm stupid. It's fine. We missed out on, all, on, on an elite, but... The refresh moves after every shot. That's actually pretty good. Um, Let's go... Yeah, let's go this way. We can actually get to another elite via this way anyway, so it doesn't matter. Although we could have got an elite and an item, so... Oh, we got an item anyways. Hey, additional crits. That's good. Question mark. Here we come. Please don't be another fight. It's another fight. Heck you. Just try and play the bomb game. Or fall in the pit and basically do nothing. It's also good. It's also exactly what I was talking about. Okay, so there's one bomb. The crit did pretty good as well, actually. We got pretty good damage. Not that we needed it, but... Oh! Overflow damage. Doesn't matter. Overflow damage is the best. Excess overflow is incredibly important. Another bomb. This might be all we needed, actually. Yes, the double bomb. That was an easy fight. I'm just gonna heal. Can I actually get the elite here is the question. I think so. There we go. We got it. Okay, next elite. Let's see how this goes. It's the same elite again! The absolute sadness that ensues every time I see this damn elite. Oh, I didn't hit the crit. God damn it. I might hit this bomb though. Yes. Yes. The double bomb. 
That's what I'm talking about, baby. Nice, another bomb. Again, this one's pretty unobtainable now, but we'll, we'll see. Another bomb kills you, at least. Pretty terrible doctor over there, but it is what it is. It's actually more than enough to heal, really. Damn it, I was hoping it hit the bomb, but... Sadly not. We're back up to full. Unfortunately, the crits are almost completely unachievable here. Unless... Nope, don't matter. Do six damage instead. I like the refreshes moving each fa each battle, though. That is much better. I didn't really think about how valuable that would be. Overflow damage puts him on two HP. All we need is a single hit. And there you go. New orb. We can pick up another stone. Why would you want to do that? Um, deals an additional damage for each peg hit this battle. Oh, that sounds pretty decent. We'll take it. Um, pegs have a 7% free chance. Ah, let's just go for the more crits because that dag orb is, is struggling. We need the more crits, really. Desperately. Run. I don't want three extra stones, please. If I'd have taken the Orbalisk, which gets damage on picking up stones, maybe, but... Anyways, we're finally at this fight. The, the crits are, again, pretty unobtainable here, which is always fun. Um, I'm going to try and do this and just go for a bomb. And maybe a crit? Yes! Didn't actually matter because the tree's, tree's in the way, but whatever. I'm still going to try and kill the tree. Why not? Oh, I didn't quite hit the bomb. We have done a lot of damage to this tree already. Wow. The memo is very powerful orb that gains damage, um, bonus damage for every peg that you've hit with any orb so far this battle. It does take some time to reach its full potential until level three. It can only be used once per battle, so you should consider discarding, uh, discarding it once or twice to allow it to power up. I see, I see. I can't discard, discard it, so it doesn't matter. You know what? It did pretty good damage nonetheless. Big mole boys in our face. Do a bit of damage to him. Ooh, one moment, one moment. Apologies, I am back. Let's carry on. I actually went and had lunch during the in-between break. I ended up getting a phone call and then got distracted. And then I forgot I was recording. So I went and had lunch. And then I came back and was like, oh yeah, I was recording. <laughs> Should probably go and finish that. Anyways, let's carry on with this run. Um, we're still using this uh, the memo, but it's not very good right now, but... Next up is the Docked Orb, which honestly I think I'm going to discard for now. I don't think I need it yet. Um, we, would, we just want to try and hit the bombs here, so let's try and go for some of those. Because the bombs will go through the tree and, and hit the uh, the mole, which we kind of need right now. Double bomb. Ah, unfortunately just the one. But the tree is pretty low, and the mole himself is also getting pretty low too. So there's another bomb. Give us the third bomb. Give us the third bomb. Yes! Was that third bomb or second bomb? Sorry, I think it's second. Yeah, there you go. Good damage on him, down to 313. He's going to duck under now, make his way around. He's going to get an extra turn and hit us for a slap, which is a bit unfortunate. I think we'll go for the Doctor Orb now. The thing is, the Doctor Orb is actually okay if we can hit bombs with it. <clears throat> we did not get a lot of healing there from it, I will say, but... Like, if we can hit one of these bombs, I'd be really happy. Unfortunately, apparently not. I can, I can still got a third heal, though, so... There you go. Damn, come on now. That's unfortunately not even going to kill the thing in front of us, though. But we do get seven healing. I'm going to discard the rocks, to be honest. And then we got one other bomb that we can pretty easily get. Although, can we actually hit that? I don't know. <clears throat> eh, not quite. We have to get rid of this peg first. Oh, that was a terrible hit. It's fine, it's fine. It's all, it's all in the name of <clears throat> getting that bomb off later. There you go. Oh, I'm I'm playing, like, really terribly right now, I will say. Like, really terribly. That should have been a way bigger hit than that. I should have gone for the crit. We'll go for the crit there. 
and then there's another bomb. Okay, <clears throat> I'm pretty happy with that, and that's um, going to be 180 damage as well, which means it will probably kill the tree, right? I've never killed the tree before. There you go, tree's dead. I did not know you could kill... Well, and I did know you could kill the tree, but I've never actually done it before. Oh, my God. My attempts here are pretty pathetic. <clears throat> Let's get rid of this rock. And then hit both the bombs. Good, good. No crit, unfortunately, but... That's okay, we've got a refresh there. We're not going to get any overage damage. Oh, so close to hitting that bomb as well, and so close to hitting the crit. Close, but no cigar. But he is super, super weak now. 13 damage left on him, sir. So. With the amount of crits we got on the board here, yeah, pretty guaranteed. And there you go. Clean out the mole onto the next area. Looking good. And... We have the Bulldog, which is a nice piercing there. So with this, we can go with the Matryoshka shell. Attacks gain plus two, plus two, or durable. Let's go with durable. Durable just means that every peg can be hit like two or three times before it gets destroyed. It sometimes can be a bit of a pain, but for the most part, it's usually pretty good. Especially with a Bulldog. The Bulldog is essentially like a rock, a normal stone, but it hits multiple enemies that are on the uh, ground floor, which for this area is really good. Um, so yeah, as you can see, we're hitting pegs more than once before they dissipate, which just means it's going to be more chance for us to bounce around a bit, which is real good. And that's going to be a kill straight off the bat here. And it also means there's more pegs left for your second turn as well. O oftentimes, there'll be, you'll need a refresh. It means that we don't need refreshes anywhere near as often anymore. We might be able to get another 200 damage here if we manage to get a crit, but the crits are a little sparse here in terms of where they're located. Oh, unfortunately, we jumped over that one. We might be able to get one here, though. Nah, unfortunate. 60 damage is still not bad, though. Uh, I'm just going to do this. I don't really mind. It's still going to do very good damage anyways. In fact, oh, it might get the kill. Yeah, it's going to get the kill. There you go. Got the kill. Beautiful. And because it, got, because it gets persist, it starts at 40 damage already. Beautiful. Don't think we'll get the kill this time unless we get a couple of crits. We'd need like three crits, I think, to get a kill here. And yeah, unfortunately, we only got one. Still pretty good damage, though, nonetheless. And then now we get this. This is good crit damage, this. 13. Is this fully upgraded? I think it is, isn't it? Fully upgraded Dag Orb is pretty strong. And as you can see, with Durable, we're hitting for a lot of damage. And remember, we have um, excess damage going through, so this should actually kill both of these guys pretty easily, which is real good. Boom. Get another orb. I'm going to go for another Bold Orb. Anything with piercing is top tier for us. I'm just going to take a random direction. I didn't really actually check where we're going here, but... I like the idea of getting an item early, so I'll take it. And we get attacks get plus one, zero. That's pretty good. Yeah, we've got a lot of pluses to our base damage. It's very nice. It's a regular rock. Do you know what? I'll just pop the regular rock and we'll try and get some bombs, maybe. There you go. We, we hit both of them ignited. No crit. Oh, no. Got the crit. Got the crit. And another ignite again. Sadly, four ignites and no actual hits on any of the bombs, but that's okay. We will persist through here. There you go. Two bombs. We should be able to get the other two, actually. Especially with a refresh there. It's going to help out. Situations like this with durable are so nice. Because it's so often that it'll keep going all the way down. We did, unfortunately, get thrown out of it a little early there. But that's okay. We don't need our Doctor Orb yet. Let's leave that for now. Tried to hit that crit there, but I fired a little too high. Another crit. Ooh, come on, come on, come on. Get the bombs. Get the bombs. No! It missed both of them again. But the overage damage is pretty nice. And then we got our bold orb here. This is this is gonna pierce through everything no matter what, so this is gonna be good damage. With durable, it's even better. I'm trying to hit that bomb desperately, but it just can't. There you go. Easy kill. Beautiful. Another Bulldog. I'm taking it. <laughs> it's getting a bit ridiculous at this point, I'll admit, but... I quite like the idea of just having a deck full of Bulldogs. 
that pierce damage is so strong. We we'll obviously need to upgrade them, so that's what, kind of why I've gone for combat here. There's our first build orb. I was hoping for a crit there, but missed it. But build orb plus durable is, is a tried and true combination here. There's the crit. In fact, there is a chance, if we're lucky because of durable and these pegs that move upwards, that we can do a full board clear in a single hit here. In fact, it's looking quite likely, actually. Especially with bombs on top. We only need to get up to 777 damage. There you go. Full board is cleared. And it's still going. There's no enemies remaining after this as well, so... Oh my god. There you go. So two bombs will kick us off. And then... Boom. All dead. The true power of the Bulldog. I can't believe we've got three Bulldogs. That's so good. And with, with the fact that we've got this for plus one and... I think it's this? No, which one is it? There's another one that we have for plus one, plus one. I can't remember what it is now. Anyways, I thought we had one for plus one, plus one. Oh. This is still really good, though. Really good. I'm going to get each Bulldog to level two if I can to start. That was a really, really bad hit by me there. That's not going to get many pegs at all. It's still going to do good damage across the board, but... With Persist as well, it essentially doubles the amount of board orbs we have. So our deck is just full of them. I think I need to hit, like, right here. No! Not what I meant to do at all, game! Why are you like this? Still, though, that's going to do a good job. Doesn't quite kill everything, but it gets pretty close. In fact, with our Pierce damage, we might be able to get everything here if we get a crit. Missed everything but the crit. Nice. So, okay, with the bomb, they're all dead. And you are also dead. Beautiful. Another Bulldog. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. It's Bulldogs all the way. This is nuts. <laughs> this is way too many Bulldogs, but I love it. This is just silly at this point. So much piercing. Hey, another fight. That's good. Ooh, how is this going to work? It's just going to get caught here, isn't it? With persist. And just keep going. Nice damage here. Oh, this is... This is going to be crazy. 500 damage. Everything's dead already. Beautiful. Bold orbs is best orb. Wow. Absolutely steamrolled. We only need 150 damage to kill this guy as well, so I'm going to say that's pretty likely. Yep. Oh my god, look at it. That's so cool. It bounces on every single one, takes out every peg. It's having a really hard time falling in, actually. <laughs> We're getting, like, way too much excess damage here. It's funny. There you go. You're dead as well. Um... I think at this point, let's just heal. <laughs> we don't need any new orbs. I was really hoping for an upgrade there, but... Honestly, the upgrades are nice, but we really don't need them that much. Oh, this is unfortunate. Uh, I'll try and take another Doc Orb. I really don't want the downgrade one in the middle, so do not give me that one. Doc Orb is fine. I don't care for it that much, but it, it is fine. Nice. Went this way because then we get an extra question mark before we get to our chest. And it's an extra fight. Good. It's exactly what I wanted. Okay, this one seems like it's going to be a little harder, but everything is moving up. So it should stay in the air reasonably long. Although... I don't know, with Persist, it seems like it could ca perpetually carry on for a while. How much damage do we get out there, then? Okay, enough to kill everything. Good. Um, there you go. Don't really care where we go here, so let's just launch it randomly in various directions and see what happens, I guess. That's not what I meant to do, but it's what's happening. With Persist, it's so much harder to actually go where you want to go. 
Come on now. Oh, after all that, you landed straight in the fire. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. One second. Okay, let's continue on. Every 30 hits is converted into a bomb is incredible. So that's pretty good. Let's see what we're trying to go here. I think down to the right is probably the best. Wait. No, doesn't matter. That wasn't a good idea. That's fine. It worked out. It worked out. It's fine. Sorry I keep pausing, but one second. Okay, we're back in it. We're just going to fight. We're not taking the three stones. This is a good fight, though. This should be pretty good. Okay, let's see how this goes. So I'm kind of intrigued now with the bombs, con the pegs converting to bombs. What? Uh, excuse me. It just deleted my orb. <laughs> Can't calculate my, my damage on movement. But there you go. Right, let's keep her going. Yeah, the bomb thing is going to be really good with the sister. Just stop getting caught in there. That's not fair. <laughs> okay, it doesn't, we're killing everything anyways, but come on now. That's not fair. It just keeps catching me in it. Oh my god, yeah, we're getting a lot of bombs here. A lot of bombs. Oh my god, this is really funny. It just keeps getting stuck. It's like it's just playing catch with my bulldog. Look at that. It just forces it and gets it stuck and it has to despawn. That's just annoying. But there you go. We finished this fight pretty easily. Um, I honestly think we just heal. I don't really need anything like that. One second. Sorry, I keep pausing. There's something going on in my Discord that I've been trying to sort out. So I'm just flicking on and off of Discord. <laughs> just trying to sort out a, a user that is um, trying to gain access that shouldn't have access. <laughs> this is going to be an interesting like 7,800 health. Oh my lord. Okay. Well, we're going to convert a lot of these to bombs, I presume, on our way down this path. Is it, does it say every 30 hits? Okay, there's another bomb. Ooh, it throws us back up and relocates us. That's going to be pretty useful. Okay. I, I'm not going to say we're going to get 7,000 damage in a single hit here, but it's going to be a lot. This is going to take a while for this to play out. This is going to take quite some time. I reckon we'll get at least 1,000. Although, if we get additional crits, actually, thinking about it. Yeah, that's put us up to 700. Oh my god, we do need a refresh, though. We've cleared out a lot of the board. This is a lot of bombs. Okay, it looks like we're coming to an end here. It's unlikely we're going to get blasted back up to the top. But like I said, we got 1,000 damage, which is pretty good. There you go. So a thousand damage is gonna kill. Oh my lord! Okay, that was almost a thousand damage just in bombs. Holy hell! Wow. Oh no! God damn it! I can't believe we just had such a terrible throw. How's this memo gonna do now? Pretty decently. Okay, we really need to refresh the. The refreshers are unfortunately in bad positions right now, but do remember they move after every turn, so they're not going to permanently be bad positions. And also, we did manage to hit one. Nice. So it doesn't really matter. Okay, good. Right, dropping down. The bombs are just blasting us everywhere. It's so useful. But now we've got this side refreshed. Restock. Not a restock, sorry. A refresh would be nice, but... Now that we've got it refreshed, sorry, this, this side is actually doing a good amount of damage. I don't know. This this guy seems like it could be quite tough. I think he kills you in one hit as well, so we've got to be kind of careful. I'm just really hoping the Bulldog does, does a good job of just taking out all the pegs and creating a bunch of bombs. It did about 2,000 damage in a single... In a single round. As long as we can get another one similar to that, then we're pretty golden. There's a refresh. Refresh is what we need, really. 
We need crits though, actually. I say refresh is what we need, but crits is really what we need. We're clearing out this whole middle section here though. Yeah, it's like we're dealing 500 damage here, but then it's going to be another like 800 bomb damage or so. So it's going to go pretty well nonetheless. We got to 700 and... 760 without any crits. There you go. Okay, crit is over there. I don't know if I can reach the crit, but I'll try. Getting over this way is fine by me nonetheless, because there is a crit down to the right. I don't know if we'll be able to get it, but... The bombs are really trying to push me over that way, but it's not having it. There's one crit. Good. Okay, speed up the process a little bit. Probably only going to get around 700 or so again. Maybe not even that, but still pretty good. Okay, actually, we, we almost got 700. We did get 700. There you go. I guessed it right. Okay, he's, he's actually pretty slow. I think we've got this. Don't... don't that's not fair. That's not fair. <laughs> you can't just time out my orb. Okay, unfortunately, we... we Fell in a pretty shit spot there. Thank God it pushed us over. Do not land there again. That's not fair. That's not fair. Just land me in the one spot where my peg gets instantly stuck. That's so upsetting. We just have this alley in the middle now. Okay, so we might actually have a pretty hard time here because... This alley in the middle and this little spot. You can't keep doing that to me. It's not fair. Nine damage isn't okay. <laughs> okay, this is bad. I think we're dead. Because this guy kills in a single hit. Like, we need refreshes and they're all really low down. Then we need crits and they're all basically impossible to get. And then whenever we get our good attacks, they just miss because of this... Ah, oh, it's just evil. The bombs are good, but early on, they're real bad. Like, we've got so much damage to deal to this guy that we just can't deal right now. And I've got to discard this too. It's like, I've got to hit it over here because there's so many pegs, but there's just such a high chance of it landing on that stupid other one. What the... The refreshes need to be better. I'm, I'm definitely dead if we don't get a good refresh here. Look at that. No! No! No, I'm gonna die! <laughs> this is so upsetting. Okay. Refresh. Oh, you got... You've got to be kidding me. This is really frustrating. Apparently, bulldogs just do not work on this fight whatsoever. If you get a bulldog on this fight, you're probably gonna die. Because they just get stuck. This next attack has to be like absolutely mega and it's not looking like it's going to be absolutely mega to be honest it's looking like it'll be high damage but i'm not dealing 2000 i'm pretty sure next turn he eats me so i think we're dead here yeah we're, we're completely dead here we're dead in the water we got close oh wait we got another turn Don't you dare do it. Okay, we got a crit here. There's a chance. There's a chance. This has to be a really good turn, though. And it's... Uh, I need more crits, really. Or more bombs. And we're getting a few bombs, but not enough. It's not enough, is it? It's not enough. Damn it. That was unfortunate. A pretty good run though. I'm just annoyed that this this little thing here ruined that entire run. That should not happen. That should not be able to happen. That is very frustrating. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one nonetheless and I'll see you guys in the next one.